I have some wood letters. I grabbed these from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to spell out two words, let and ring. And I'm just placing them on this painter's tape. This is an easy way to paint your letters without them moving all over the place. I'm then going to take my Wise Owl Republic Red, and I'm going to paint my first word in the red. And then I'm going to take the Snow Owl and paint the word ring in white. And I'm going to set these letters aside to fully dry. Next, I'm going to take four of these bells. I get these around Christmas time from the Dollar Tree. They come in a pack. So this is from my leftover stash. And I'm going to paint them in some Wise Owl black paint. Now, if you do not have these ones from the Dollar Tree, you can certainly just cut some from a nice, pretty scrapbook paper. Once the black paint had dried, I'm then going to take the metallic silver paint from Wise Owl as well, and I'm going to dry brush that on top of the bells. I do not want full coverage. I still want some of that black to pull through. I got this board from Hobby Lobby. It was on clearance. You can use any board that's going to fit all of our cutouts. And I'm going to start laying down all of my pieces. I'm going to put the let. I got this freedom word from Hobby Lobby. And then my bells below. And I'm going to glue everything down using some hot glue. If you cannot find this freedom word, you can certainly just paint each letter individually. And then I'm going to take the word we painted in the beginning and glue one letter onto each bell. I have this bow that came from the Dollar Tree. I cut the tails a little shorter and then I'm going to glue that in the empty space here on the left. I added a little bit of blue to the word ring. I'm just dry brushing this on. I originally wanted these letters to be blue, but it did not pop that well against the black. I then took some of this raffia. I made these tiny little bows and I added one to the top of each bell. You can leave your tails longer if you'd like. I hot glued them onto the top. And next I have these small star cutouts. I got them from Hobby Lobby. I have three of them, and I'm going to paint each star in the Wise Owl Snow Owl. I'm going to give this a good coat and then allow that to fully dry. Once they are dry, I'm going to glue them into the empty space here in the top right. You can certainly leave it blank if you'd like. I felt like it was just an open space, so I put these stars there. And then I went back and I trimmed the tails on each bow just a little shorter. And there you go. Now we have this very easy Let Freedom Ring wall sign. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage. Have a great day.